Hi, I'm Isaac Mizrahi. I'm Pam Tanowitz. I'm Simona Dinnerstein. And we collaborated and made um, a piece called Not a Rose. Pam and I were talking about this thing and she mentioned Simona's name and I was like, oh, really? You think? Maybe? Would she? So the minute we knew that Simona was on board, it just changed the whole landscape of the thing. It became a real true kind of three-way collaboration. I have to say about the music, because um, Pam and I had a few ideas about music. I was convinced it was supposed to be um, Scarlatti, only because I'm way into Scarlatti at the moment. I just listened to a lot of it, and it, it's like, it's kind of comfort food or something. You know, it's very comforting Scarlatti to me. Well, the first thing I thought of was not Kubran, it was Satie. But then when I heard that Scarlatti was being talked about, I thought um, that actually, I think Kuparan is, is in many ways more interesting than Scarlatti to me. The thing about how much I love the way you play the piano, you find things in it that are, like you said, like sort of odd, like you make it sound so odd. It's like, you, yeah, she gives it space. Like she almost like gives it space, but in a very specific way. Okay. I was curious about the rolling up and down of the trouser leg and what that meant. It's part of how I approach this. You know, how am I gonna make a dance on FaceTime? So how am I gonna transfer movement? So I went through all my old dance books and I created a storyboard, like, a mo like movies and TV shows do or, you know, so the first one, this is my, I, so this is the first one he came, um, I gave him and it has this, 
What is that? It's a flamenco dancer, so, you know, something more iconic like Petrushka. So we started, that was our base, you know, and then as I work, like I work with my dancer and it mutated into how Isaac um, embodied these shapes, what I, you know, we gave movement to some of them. The challenge of the rehearsal on FaceTime, the challenge of transferring movement to you, the transfer of talking about how to perform that movement using your ideas. To me, like finding inspiration in the limitation is one of the most exciting parts of making things for me. You know, I, I used to think about this all the time, like you show clothes, let's say on a model, and she looks amazing, right? Too amazing, like absolutely too amazing. And then, but then like real women, wear the clothes and they look wonderful in the clothes you know so it's like when i asked pam to make the dance i thought well i hope she understands that i'm not like you know the christy turl i'm not like tanakeel leclerc or something right i'm not sarah mearns and she's making this up for me right and 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 i thought maybe there's something beautiful that i can bring to this dance for a minute i had to take away you know the physical vision of what it was of me dancing around and just kind of like focus on the, the, the linear experience of my life and going like, what do I really want to do? I've, I've always wanted to be the object of a dance, you know, I've, and it might be too late soon. But then when we got to working on it, it kind of opened up this huge thing in my brain, which was like, you know, it's never too late. It isn't too late. So that music, to me, the thing that is so um, alluring about the piece is that I cannot tell the mood. The mood, yeah, it's always it. ineffable, right? So sometimes yeah. you think it's sad, sometimes it's happy, you don't know, it's all combined. It's, I it's love that. I, I, I called it not a rose because we were talk Pam and I were talking and we were talking about Gertrude Stein, we're talking about, you know, rose is a rose, but not every single rose is a rose, right? Like, and, and particularly when you think about like what's going on right now and the music and how I'm performing this dance, it's really not a rose, but it is, it is beautiful. There are so many beautiful things. And that's why I love the title too, Not a Rose. It works perfectly. Per it's perfect. <laughs>